For more on what the province's housing announcement means, we're joined by Tom Davidoff. He's an associate professor at UBC Sauter School of Business. Tom, thanks so much for being on the show. Uh, good evening to you. Thank you so much. So the housing minister cited Vienna's model of government-led housing as the inspiration for this BC Builds program. What kind of timeline is realistic in your mind in terms of steering such a massive ship? And is there a chance it's too late to switch to that model after decades of, of private development? Yeah, I think uh, for the most part, British Columbia, particularly Greater Vancouver and Victoria, are going to be dominated by private market housing. Uh, I see this as an opportunistic program where municipal governments have some land to donate uh, or nonprofits do. Uh, to help them speed up their own development, uh, maybe municipal workforce housing, uh, nonprofit housing, uh, you know, sort of opportunistic projects. But most housing in British Columbia by far is always going to be private market. So you sound somewhat skeptical yeah. this will make much of a dent perhaps in the affordability crisis. Looking at other places like Vienna, how has it been successful there and how, what could we take from that to mirror here to make it also successful here? Well, you know, buy up all the land uh, before it gets too expensive. That's what happened in Singapore and Vienna. Uh, they wouldn't be able to build on the scale they have if they were starting from where, where we are today. You know, if uh, way back in the day, uh, <laughs> the city of Vancouver, when it was, uh, you know, all trees, you know, <laughs> maybe it would have been possible. But no, uh, look, I, I'm not skeptical. I, I think this is a, a good project. I think it has merit, but it, it's not a solution to the housing affordability problem by any means. And we know that this is a long-term project, yes. When do you anticipate we'll be able to determine whether it ultimately was a success? And what would be the measuring stick for that, to determine that? Well, again, I think it's a project-by-project -project basis. You know, North Vancouver, uh, Gibson's, a couple other places are the first projects. If they get completed, uh, the homes are adequate, people are getting housed, and uh, government's getting close to breaking even on the deal, then all you've done is accelerated housing and uh, provided housing for some people that uh, these municipalities wanted to house. So, you know, let, let's see how these projects go. Are they able to move as quickly uh, as anticipated? Another one of those wait and sees for sure. Thank you so much for your insight today. My pleasure. Thank you. Tom Davidoff is an associate professor at UBC Sauter School of Business.